Hi Pisces, it's Abby. Welcome to your reading. Thank you so much for stopping by. This is going to be a little bit of a quickie uh, for those of you out there who uh, see I usually do longer reads but I'm feeling like a little quickie here. Um, all I do on this channel BT dubs is Pisces centered content so if that's something you're into consider subscribing, take a look around, see if you like my vibe, all that kind of stuff. Um, and hopefully this reading will ring for you. If it doesn't, maybe another one will. I have a whole bunch of timeless readings um, on here that you are free to check out. What I'm going to look at today, Pisces, is sort of the main energy of today for those of you who felt drawn to this reading. Remember, not every reading is for everybody, but I want to look at the main energy, your biggest discovery today, also your biggest obstacle and then how to overcome that obstacle or advice on how to have the most positive outcome possible, okay? So, let's get started. Okay. Mm, interesting, okay. So, what I am seeing here in the main theme for today is Libra energy with the justice card. What you're going to notice when you look back at today from, you know, later on or tomorrow, you're going to realize that there is, this was a time in your life where you're really looking for balance. Balance is sort of like the main theme of what you are trying to achieve. And it's like a fairness also, I want to say that there's this theme of needing to be fair with yourself and with your energy. Um, and it is, yeah, just ever present in your life right now is this need for fairness, for justice, and for things to be sort of equal. I'm getting this big thing about um, sort of like putting coins on either side of the scale and trying to make sure that they are just so. Um, this feels like there's a number of you who today you're, you're trying to find balance. I feel like your energy might be sort of uh, maybe a little scattered and you're, you're coming to a place of discovering how to do it, okay? Your biggest discovery today, we have Eight of Pentacles energy. So this feels to me, this is a, a job, um, <laughs> often a card associated with things like jobs, work, money. I feel like this is letting you know that your biggest discovery today is going to have to do with a talent of yours that can be forged into something that will bring you recognition. This is like your work that pays off and that I guess in sort of the mundane details of the day-to-day -day life, right? Just sort of working and placing each of these pentacles just like so and and sort of repeating the process and, and doing the right things you know, over and over again, one step at a time, you're discovering that it is actually going to pay off for you in a way um, that is really tangible in your actual 3D world and life, which is why it's showing up in pentacles, okay? Uh, so it's kind of like, well, you know, I'm, I'm in a place where I'm just really trying to seek balance, but, you know, your biggest discovery is stuff like, I woke up, I made myself, you know, decent food, <laughs> I took myself for a walk, I let myself do things that I care about, that I find interesting. Um, I, you know, if people were unpleasant, I let it roll off my back. I took care of myself. I acknowledged my emotions. I didn't sit and stew in them or push them down or try to get away from them. I did the good stuff, right? And it's like going like, oh, I guess if I, if I do the good practical stuff, it does pay off, right? Kind of the, we all kind of, I think, want some sort of fantastical answer to a lot of our problems and some days we just get a reminder that it's like you just do the stuff you're supposed to do and you know good things come of it <laughs> it's really nice um your biggest obstacle is queen of swords energy so for some of you today you could be coming up against possibly an air sign person okay uh gemini libra or aquarius person we do have some other air energy that's showing up here uh, this also feels to me like it could be a sense of being sort of too cold. Um, yeah. <laughs> this feels like there's a relationship or something. Um, there could be someone in particular. Um, it doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. The first 
instinct I had when I saw this was mother, <laughs> when I saw Queen of Swords. Um, so this feels like for some of you, you could have possibly some friction with, it could be a female person, a mother figure, it could be someone who is exhibiting a behavior also that reminds you of maybe like someone who was a mother figure, uh, someone who was maybe kind of difficult to get along with or quarrelsome. And it feels like you're just wanting harmony. Like you're just not wanting, like this two of cups is telling me like, I just... What I really want is just for things to be smooth and even and fair, right? And for people to get what they need. Um, and there's something about this that's reminiscent of this this person or this behavior. You could be doing this like nitpicking yourself, but I feel like for a lot of you, it's external. Um, and so it feels like you're just kind of coming up against someone who kind of is cold, is nitpicky, um, and is like there's just not a harmonious vibe when that's all you really kind of want um, today. So your advice or the sort of how do you get past it energy. You have the nine of swords, which I'm going to clarify, but I'm feeling pretty strongly that it is allowing yourself to wake up to, you know, make lists um, I'm not really sure why lists. Ah, see, there's some kind of like pattern that needs to go, right? You got the, the nine and then the 10 here of the swords. So it's a, a cycle that you're trying to move through. Both of them are Gemini energy. There could be um, something going on, something mercurial. I know we just got out of the Mercury retrograde, even though this is technically a timeless reading, but it just feels kind of like, look, like waking up to the fact that there's stuff that needs to be done that you can sort of see the cause and effect and, and go like, all right, there, there are things here that I can put to bed if I just go ahead and take care of them. I feel like it's also some encouragement for a lot of you Pisces out there right now just to not let yourself get too freaked out or afraid or in your own head. Um, if there are anxieties that to bring them into a higher realm, to kind of look at them and go like, what the heck is this? Why is this here? <laughs> Why am I feeling like this? Um, and instead of feeling sort of hopeless, maybe just kind of, I don't wanna say deal with it, that's not even it. It's just like, It's making a plan. It's just moving through it. It's being honest about your feelings and your thoughts. It's that kind of thing. This is the Rebel deck. Some of you know it, some of you don't. I know some people hate it, some people love it. I friggin' love it. It has some cursing in it. Um, it's very mild. I'm gonna ask for one card because that's the feeling I'm getting in here. I feel like someone's ticking you guys off and it's the kind of day where some profanity may end up being kind of <laughs> repeated in your head or in the break room or wherever right can we get one for my pisces just like a little encouragement pick me up yeah that's what i'm seeing there okay so these feel like yeah <laughs> this feels like this goes along with this eight of pentacles energy that i had there so it is saying come on Oh, you scare? Are you scare, baby? Come on, it says you're giving too many fucks. <laughs> Give zero. There's there's an, a sense of overthinking here. Um, so if you find yourself getting into like a thing where you're just like, I just was trying to be nice to this person or I was trying to get through it and they were just being a jerk to me, yada, yada, yada. Um, to take a deep breath, it has more to do with them than it does with you, right? And let it go. Again, coming into that energy, we have you need some fucking yoga in your life. Ancient shit is cool. This goes along with what I was saying here about finding balance and striking balance. Um, so your day to day for the your day today <laughs> for the Pisces that I was talking about, there's something maybe physical in this, maybe meditative, whatever it is. You don't have to sit still to meditate. You can meditate and walk. You can meditate and work out. You can meditate and clean you can do that kind of thing but this feels like there's something here that you're discovering is really crucial um and really practical in helping you get past whatever sort of hiccups you might experience today we also have eat your fucking vegetables <laughs> 
<laughs> eat some shit made by mother nature that's what i was talking about you wake up you make yourself some good food you know i feel like if we're coming from a standpoint of being well nourished um emotionally physically all of those things it's just so much easier a lot of the time it's kind of frustrating it you know it, it works it's one of those things right it works and then lastly boop come on now you are the best thing to ever happen to you go easy on your ass buy your own damn drink okay so this feels like celebrate yourself celebrate your own wins um it feels like there might be there's a cycle here that needs to kind of come to a close and i feel like what you're kind of working on getting balance on is your thought your thoughts um your thought processes how they work and sort of you know trying to overhaul all of that and like that takes time and it takes reinforcement so whatever little bit of it you're chipping off today pisces it's going to be worth it and um oh i just love that i have the you were loved <laughs> on the top of the deck here looking at me so yeah I hope that this was helpful to whoever needed to hear it. If it rang for you, or maybe at the end of your day, you'll be like, oh yeah, that does make sense. Um, I hopefully will see you again on another one. Check out a longer reading if you wish. Lots of love to you guys, and I will see you on the next one. Bye now.